What's going on guys? So today we are out here at CCRV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this brand new Cedar Creek Hathaway Edition fifth wheel. Now Cedar Creeks are really cool units. They're built very well. They have a lot of really great amenities and construction perks that many units in the same price category don't have. That's kind of the focus. They use a higher grade fiberglass. The way that they're mounted to the walls is different. It's a hung wall versus your traditional laminated wall. They use a residential style insulation and they throw a lot of upgraded features again at this price point that other manufacturers don't. So I think you're gonna enjoy this video. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So let's start by taking a look at the numbers on the Cedar Creek Hathaway Edition. This is a 36 CK2. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,525 pounds, rides on 7,000 pound axles, and has a cargo capacity of 3,615 pounds. That's a huge cargo capacity. Being the type of floor plan it is, it's relatively long, but the unit overall is about 41 feet. Let's take a look at the storage area. Again, you got that massive drop frame. You also have a cord reel, which is nice in here, but it gives you a tremendous storage area. They have this back area open right here, but this essentially is where you would go to service all of your plumbing controls and everything from the back, which is really nice. And this just simply pops in place when you're done. But this is a huge storage area. This is just a massive, massive storage area. Stepping back, you can see your waterworks board here. Very nicely laid out. All your controls, everything is positioned well, and your battery disconnects up here as well. Something indicative about the construction is they use these very, very thick baggage doors. Same type of doors you might see on a DRV or a Lux. Taking a look underneath, rack and pinion slide, 12 inch I-beam frame. This has the hydraulic level up landing gear auto leveling system on it as well. This utilizes the Dexter Easy Flex suspension system for an equalizer, and it has Westlake G-rated tires. These are actually pretty good quality tires, believe it or not. I know they're Westlake, but these aren't the traditional Westlake E or F-rated tires you might normally see. These are an all-steel rated tire. Coming around to the back, frameless windows, very, very small receiver. Again, it's just mainly for an accessory rack. This has the Furion wireless backup camera already installed, full walk-on roof. You can actually get some of these with a fiberglass rear cap. Rack and pinion slide on this side as well. Coming around. Let's take a look at the other side of the storage because it is huge. I mean, check this out. I know you see some sawdust, and I've pointed this out in other videos, but this sawdust is simply from the unit being driven down the road. They vacuum these out before they leave the factory, but all this stuff kind of jostles loose from different areas where it was hidden or kind of tucked under, and as you, you know, put it on a thousand mile trip from Elkhart to where it's ending up, this stuff kind of just gets back out. During the PDI process, if you buy a unit, all that stuff should be cleaned out for you. You can see this also has the ASA in-command system. This is that system that allows you to essentially control everything from your smartphone or from the screen inside. Or if you have a new GM truck that has the eight inch screen, you can control it all from the truck. So you have the ability to check your tank levels, to extend your slides, to extend your awning, turn your lights on, turn your AC on, pretty much do everything, which is really cool. And if they don't vacuum this, you have your road vac. Very, very large storage. All right, let's take a look inside of this 36 CK2. This is a rear living room floor plan. Right off the bat, you'll see why this is the higher end brand from Cedar Creek. Beautiful interior. Just check out the light fixtures. Very, very nice. They've done a great job with this unit. Just everywhere you kind of see the focus on luxury amenities. Check out the amount of countertop space you have here. All that countertop space there, this massive island. Look at all the room you have on both sides. That is really cool. Plus, an enormous pantry next to it. Plus, look at the wood tones. Just the way this entire thing is designed is beautiful. You have electronic controlled theater seating, huge sofa in the back. Again, I do wish they would have put some small end tables on each side. Check out the designs on the side of the slides, which are really nice as well. The trimming, plus all the cabinetry above the couch. Back here, 
You can see they've extended that trim around the fireplace area. Good size TV. Nice cooktop area. I mean, this is just a beautiful kitchen. I mean, check that out. Couldn't you see yourself cooking something in here? Very, very nice layout. Full residential refrigerator. Lots of cabinets. Just cabinets everywhere. You definitely don't have to worry about a coffee station in this unit because you have about four different places you could put a coffee maker in here. One thing I didn't notice a second ago, but check out the sconces on each side of the sofa. Looks really nice. Day-night roller shades, so you can pretty much black out the interior during the day if you want to sleep in a little bit. Coming back here, your control panel will be back here, as well as some additional storage. Now that is a coat closet. I mean, that is the perfect size coat closet to fit even large jackets. You have your ASAN command control system in here. This is your interior control panel, plus more storage above there, and even more storage above that. The focus on storage in this unit is awesome. I like the wooden steps going up. Check out this bathroom. This is a beautiful bathroom. Solid surface countertops, really nice sinks. Look at all the drawers. Huge, huge mirror on the back. This is beautiful. One piece shower stall. Area for all your toiletries and towels. Nice ceiling height as well. This is definitely a bathroom that is very residential feeling. Actually very residential in a nice home. Going into the front bedroom area, you can see just how nice this bedroom is. Now this is a king size bed, but look at the room they give you on each side of it, even considering this is a king size bed. So you have a lot of room in here, plenty of room on each side of it to get in. And that's one of the sacrifices and compromises a lot of people make when they go to a king size is that you lose all this space. But in the case of this unit, because that slide is so wide, you have plenty of space. Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System up here. Good ceiling height in here. Beautiful trimming on the slide as well. Plus a really nice wardrobe at the end. You can see that the flooring continues all the way into the bedroom, so there's no carpet in here, which is also really nice. Master bedroom closet. Well, there's a lot of room. Tons of room in here. Plus right here, there are connections for a stackable washer and dryer unit, which is also really nice. You have your Wi-Fi cellular booster in there as well. Very cool. This is a great floor plan. This is a great rear living room floor plan if you don't need a mid bunk. Definitely something I think full timers would enjoy. Now, Cedar Creek units are not warranted for full time use. Basically meaning if you plan on living in your unit full time, they don't warranty it for that unless they've changed their warranty and I'm just not aware of it. But they are designed for four seasons living, so you can use this in any climate, any environment, and it's supposed to hold up just fine. But you do want to be careful because if a RV is not warranted for full-time living, if something breaks and they find out you're using it as a residence, then they may not cover it. But also keep in mind, most warranties on RVs only extend a year or two. So, you know, if you're going to live in it for three or four or five years, then you really can't expect anything in here to be covered after that period anyways. That's why I tell people, when you upgrade like the pin box up front, if you want to throw one that isn't covered by Lippert, well, you have to find out what your frame warranty is because that's the only period of time they'll cover it anyways. So if you want to throw a different style pin box, as long as it's safe, it's built by a reputable manufacturer, and it accomplishes a goal that you're looking for, it might not be a bad thing to consider, even though the factory warranty may not cover that specific thing. Just keep in mind, the factory warranties don't last very long. This specific unit has an MSRP of $96,848. I would imagine you could probably get about 25% off of that, or maybe even a little bit more if you negotiate well. But this is definitely a beautiful fifth wheel. Guys, I really appreciate you coming along on this trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.